Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our Marble Looks campaign in EU4. With me, your host, Lucky Marine, where we are about to, hopefully soon, become revolutionary Marble Dukes. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. As I've been going through this campaign, first thing we wanted to do was 10 Coptic. We did do that. And then I wanted to, uh, to do the revolutionary thing. And we're going to do that as well. I think maybe going to war with the Congo might be safe. Luba. No. Yeah, it might be safe going to war with the Congo. I doubt they have much. Yeah, Miltech 23. And our uh, revolutionary rebels will be fairly safe. Where are you heading? Head towards my capital, you mong. Good. Next. And can we take advantage of this? Imperialism. However, colonialism is only 25% aggressive expansion. Take capital in Belize. It's down here, isn't it? Yup. Go on then. You're being held by rebels, let's just go straight for their capital. Quiche. We don't know Quiche, but they would still... <laughs> it'd still give us military access. Good guy Quiche. Doesn't have no clue who we are, but he's like, yeah, yeah, it's alright, we'll let you through. And let's go for uh, go on then. Oh, he's on his way. Yep, he's moving in the right direction. Good. I've mothballed that fall. So he shouldn't have any issues getting through it. Let's wait until you're locked. And then meet you there. No, they shouldn't. Ooh. Alright. Sneaky. Turn that off because you don't get morale back. While well, she got forced march on. Conquer Callis. Where the, where's the Callis? Uh, yeah, alright then. You're gonna give us a claim on it. Don't need a claim, but. Better to have one than not. Now, Keish. Good. Training Copper. Recruitment time minus 20%. It's useful if you need it. Keish, how about a little bit of uh, access? No diplomats. Excellent. Cut through that fort and then straight to your capital and we'll just end up feeding all of this to uh, Mameluke here in Mexico. Oh, I see. You group up with this guy here. And we'll just jump straight onto the Congo-ish capital. What do we want from Congo? No diplomats. Do I need you in Bohemia? You've already been figured out. Let's bring you home. I could do with using you. Definitely need your coastline. And we'll go from there. National tax modifier or national? No, no. We make enough money. I don't. I'm not desperate for it. Are you there yet? Soon. That's all right. 
Actually, no separatists. If we have Corsani cause, he might stay there. He is a little shit. Right. Let's check you in charge and let's have you down this way. Make sure you don't accidentally squish the dudes. In fact, let's go there. I'll ship you across the uh, here. Land there. Yeah, not too far away. Marienburg, that's fine. We've got people there. Ish, sort of. Although it is important to note that you don't need revolutionary Mamluks to, to occupy a capital. Or oh, whatever country you're playing. You don't need the actual revolutionaries to occupy a capital. Any will do. So if we had someone pop here, Ottoman, I don't know, Ottoman separatist or something popped actually in Kajeli and they took our capital would go revolutionary which is interesting to know national unrest and Basra don't really need them in Basra they're already doing good stuff they're already heading towards our capital I'll go for the national unrest. Okay. Okay. Whilst you're on a boat, you don't need that leader. Your moth bold. Your moth bold. It's an easy route to the capital. We were lucky with where they popped, to be honest. Let's try and actually snaffle them. He's got a decent, it looks like he's got a decent maneuver leader with the, with the shenanigans that happened here before. So we'll try and uh, squish. Okay, good. Turn you off, poop one out, get onto Songo. Make sure these don't suffer horrific attrition. I just spread them out a little bit. There we go. Express Freethinkers, National Unrest plus one, Revolutionary Red. Why not? Why the hell not? I said I saw three groups that would pop. One, two, where's the other one? Oh, I'll be on an island or something. He's not in that lot. Not on an island. He'll be somewhere. He'll be somewhere. Now you have to be careful that revolutionaries don't take. I think I've already said this. The revolutionaries don't take enough land to enforce their demands. They have to actually go and take your capital. No. Some rebels need to take your capital. That's fine. Congo wants out. Do much from there, are you? I didn't realize you didn't realize we had those islands. There we go. Thankfully, we don't have any forts around here, so they can't sit on forts and actually cause us any issues. Two more provinces. Two more provinces. 
And that'll be us. Revolutionary. Hmm, you take that. It's important to note that we don't have the absolutism that we had. So, taking land from people now is going to be a little bit more painful. Good. Away you go. I don't want to be paying through the nose of attack though. Sweet. Oh, it looks like Jean Pierre helped, helped us out. I'll actually use these guys to take out this lump. We don't need this lump, we don't need this lump, we just need these to carry on doing what they're doing. Good, next, carry on. One more province to go. Come on, move. Come on, move. Diplo rep or improve relations. Improve relations will help with dragging down our aggressive expansion. 25% ahead of time. Is there anything that we can spend it on? Do we have a mill idea? We don't. Should have probably grabbed them. Hmm. Right, what's score cost? Go on then. All right, ahead of time it is. I will swap out the horses whilst we're at war. We don't have many. That's going fine. You're getting through that capital fine. Right here. You go here. It's just this one right here. Yeah, my word. One siege, please. Sweet. I'm going to need this fault in the first, though. In fact, let's chuck Mr. Dude Man in charge. Where's Mr. Dude Man? He's in hostile territory. Of course, he's in the Congo, isn't he? Great. I will use this lump to take out the 16 as well. Why? Right. You were right next to my capital. Flying through these Christian provinces very quickly. Do we take you? Oh, we're we waiting for tech. No, we'll take the idea. We're twenty five percent ahead of time anyway. Climb our way. Yeah, climb our way up these uh I'm going to take cost, number of states, number of states plus five. That'll be profitable. You tricked. You tricked has popped out of somewhere. Hmm. Someone's at war with somebody else. Well, obviously, it's EU4. Everyone's at war with everyone. All the time. Are you nearly through that yet? I would like to hit these. 
and I want to do it with this general. There we go. In the jungle, it's a fault. That should be an easy win. Take you two back. Okay, good. Kind of, I think. Maybe. What is this? Oh, of course, our Palmer. Yep, fairly easy fight. And let's follow them out. And take that fault. Take a guy in here. And we'll go squish Luba's army if we can. In the meantime, you lot group up in this general direction. And where are you going? Go on, my capital's right here. It's gonna be like them Coptic zealot things again, isn't it? Oh, we managed to squish them. Looks like they uh, they only came as far back as Mexico, which is unfortunate for them. Hmm, Luba managed to get out. Let's force your fleet out. Oh, there he is. Away you go. Victory. Third French Tidorian Colonial War. Yeah, the, the French lost a lot more men there than the Net Tidor did. Not surprised. Still will give us that, why not? Yeah, the forts. We need this fort to fall. Mexico. Before we can demand what we need, which is what we. <laughs> it's working. It's going to be a thing that happens. Siege of Mexico is over. Good. Might be able to peace out there. Yep. Although, whilst we're here, it'd be rude not to feed some more stuff. I mean, it's it's not going to us, it's going to flip straight away to uh, Mamelukian Mexico. If we can get through this fort quicker than they can get through that one. Yeah, you already have to in charge. Then we might be able to take what we want. Good. Good. Overthrow the government. Indeed. Indeed. Overthrow the government. I split you up. I'll start carping siege in our way through. We know where the most of their stacks are. Yeah, we can. Do a little bit more. Minus seven, minus twenty eight, zero, minus fourteen. Yeah, we might be able to. If we, it's going to be siege race, just an outright old fashioned siege race. If we can win this before they've won that, we should be able to take everything that we want on this side for quiche. Anyway, let's. Observe the moment oh, we get flipped. Revolutionary. Oh, it's going to be fun. Oh, we're going to. We are going to tear the world a new bumhole. Last time when I did um, Prussia, Revolutionary Prussia, we uh, we couldn't get take, really take advantage of it because the DLC came out and ruined the game. That should be it. Next tick. 
next tech should be us as revolutionary. Carry on. And 42 to minus 7. There we go, the revolutionary is here, fuckers. Which is amazing. It's an amazing, an amazing government type. If you want to pause that and read it, then fair enough, but I've read it before. Uh, Mamluks will become the main source of the revolution. And it's important, if you are the main source of revolution, you get all of this shit. If you're not the main source of the revolution and you go revolutionary after the first person, then you don't quite get as many good bonuses. So we get Fire Mechanicalism, which is amazing. All our revolutionaries will disband, of course. The event, Marlux is more stable, gives us one more stability. Good. Gets us positive. And we change to a revolutionary republic. Not a revolutionary constitution or something like that, which is what happens if they embrace, if they, uh, they impose their demands, i.e. If they take enough forts or enough land in your country to, uh, to enforce their demands, you're not going to get flipped to a revolutionary republic. They need any rebels, need to, any rebels, need to occupy your capital whilst during this this disaster and the revolution revolution will be there in your country the revolution this will happen this event will happen morale of armies plus 10 percent amazing tolerance of heretics plus two amazing monthly autonomy change is a massive number again amazing an extra diplomat i mean we don't really make use of the diplomats that we've got but another one is nice another leaders keep great Number of states plus 10, holy fuck. Maximum absolutism plus 5 doesn't really matter because now we'll flip out of the constitutional republic. We'll get back above the uh, the 100 absolutism threshold. National focus cooldown minus 10. Yeah, right. Republican cultural sufferance, meaning the non-accepted cultures will just... Yeah. There's going to be less unrest in those places. There's going to be more tax modifier, more manpower modifier, and more the sailors modifier. But who gives a fuck about your sailors? And I currently really will die. Look at that. I didn't think it was going to be green. We didn't have any green on our original flag. I wonder where they dragged the green from. And here it is. More stable. Excellent. Jacobins are currently in power, which is national unrest. This is, I believe, the factions of our republic. Now, what are the benefits? What are the benefits? Oh, here it is. So the Jacobins that we have at the moment, construction costs minus 15%. National unrest of minus 2, which is quite a big number, actually. National tax modifier plus 15, eh, we already make enough money. Uh, Diplo rep, it's fine. We uh, we don't really have people underneath us that we care about. Imperials, state minus minus 25%. Again, that's only just, it's just making money for you. Not needed. Diplo rep, again, not needed. Yearly Republican tradition is crap. Lip design subjects is crap as well. The Imperials are shit. Or the Girondists. Manpower recovery speed plus 20%. Land force limit plus 20. Discipline plus 5. Aggressive expansion impact plus 20%. Ooh. This was going so good until the aggressive expansion impact. However. However. It might still be worth it. It might still be worth it. Okay, not about that. We've lost Conquest CB against Bohemia, Russia, and Persia. Might sound like a bad idea, but keep all this in mind, what we just lost. We have lost the Imperialism CB against all of those. Which is sad. 
Until you get to this. Spread of the revolution. Against everyone in the world. So what is the spread of the revolution, CB? Well, I will show you, young Padawan. Fifty percent aggressive expansion. Fifty percent aggressive expansion. So if we did go with the Girondist, with the CB that we're using, our aggressive expansion impact is plus twenty percent. It only takes us up to 70%, which is still 5% less than imperialism. So, hmm. Anyway, uh, let's go for someone with all the diplos. Excellent. And that it is us. That, ladies and gentlemen, is us. We are a great republic. Which gives us of armies plus ten, torrents of heretics plus two. Yep, good stuff. But we also have this, the revolution target. And you only get this if you're the first person to flip. So, morale of armies plus ten, national manpower, manpower modifier plus ten, land force limit modifier plus forty, naval force limit modifier plus forty, land maintenance modifier minus. 50% and naval minus 50%. Monthly war exhaustion comes down by metric fuckton and unjustified demands is minus 50. Minus 50. Oh, we are going to fuck the world so hard. Revolutionary marmad. Marmad. Oh no. Persia, this is one reason why I need to kill you. Just another reason. A long line of many reasons. What is this? Birthplace of the revolution. Yep, yeah, that's a, cool. Also gives everybody in the world a, uh, a CB on us. But, let's have a look at our money. Because our army maintenance has come down by half. <coughs> Birthplace of the revolution, minus 50%. Our naval maintenance has come back down by half. Advise, I think it has an effect on our advisors as well somehow. State maintenance has come down as well. We'll be able to see the modifiers there somewhere. I don't know why the gold has come down. Mm -mm. Let's repay all the loans. Full maintenance making 190 ducats. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we leave it. Oh, an extra merchant. Cool. Uh, that is where we're going to leave it for this episode. I've been Luke Green. As always, you have been amazing. Republican tradition is starting to go up. Which is nice. Prestige, again, is going up. Mamluki in particular lists. Why and where? Nine, nine percent. Nowhere. Yeah, I was going to say we should be stable as balls now. Yeah, I've got the Jacobins in uh, in charge. Republican tradition minus one, positive stability minus one, trading in wine minus one, liberation act. Yeah. Oh, we're going to have such good times. Such good times. And our absolute new absolutism level is exactly, exactly 100. If we hadn't have done the court and country, if we hadn't have won the court and country, um, doodah, then we wouldn't have been able to get up to uh, 100 absolutism. Cool. Anyway. Anyway, finish our war with Congo. We'll finish our war with um, with British Mexico. Feed Mamluki in Mexico the majority of this, and then I want to go to war with someone big. Anyway, till next time. 
from Revolutionary Marmalukes Persia. Do take care.